All right, on this video, we're going to cover beveling the edges of the foam. Uh, like I said, if you're scratch building or if you buy a kit that doesn't have beveled edges, um, the obviously it's going to be flat. We want to make those nice and beveled so we can get our hinges to work properly. Um, again, I actually like to put, when I kind of put my kit together just to test fit everything, I like to go ahead and mark uh, the sides that I want to bevel from just to make sure we don't ruin a piece of foam. Uh, again, I do that for all my surfaces. Elevator, rudder, do the same thing, but we need to go ahead and put the angles on all of this. So we'll uh, show a couple different methods here. The first method, put a straight edge at the end of your table and clamp it, weight it down, however you want to do it. Uh, get your kids to hold it for you, doesn't matter. Uh, put a straight edge down. And what you want to do is get your straight edge down about the same thickness as what your foam is. Uh, this is 9 millimeter. Uh, it's not critical because we're going to do both sides of the control surface. So whatever angle you do, you know, if you do a 45 degree angle, you're going to end up with 90 between the two surfaces. Uh, but like I said, it's not real critical. Just try to get it close um, and again get it to the edge of the, your table. Um, and again, there's a couple different methods. Uh, we'll show the uh, you basically have a hot wire, battery operated hot wire cutter. This is, I think, from Hobby Lobby or Walmart or something. But basically, all you do is just run your uh, run your hot wire right down your phone and run it along the, the two straight edges. And um, as you can see, you can't really mess take off too much foam if you accidentally pull away. Uh, you can always go back and correct it. Uh, this one works pretty good. It's a little slower than some of the other ones. Uh, due to the batteries, uh, but it's really nice and convenient uh, due to the uh, um, you know the fact that it's portable. Um, so there's one. Uh, another one that you can use is uh, this is from Harbor Freight here. I'll peel that off so you can see it. Uh, this is just basically a hot knife. Uh, very inexpensive from Harbor Freight, but again, you can do the same thing. Uh, you can just come in and you know kind of cut your edge there and then you can come back and just slide it again right down um, this works a little bit better than the other one but depending on what you have around or what your local stores have uh, it kind of depends on what you're able to use so again both of these work really well really simple to use uh, and I like the uh, hot wire or the hot knife method due to the fact that it also seals the edges for you so it gives you a little bit more rigidity without adding weight and with EPP especially I feel that's definitely important um, you can of course do it with just a regular razor blade the exact same method um, all of us have a exacto knife around and so on this one basically again you do the same thing uh, and this like I said works with all different types of foam whether you're building with blue cord Depron doesn't matter um, but just make sure your exacto knife is sharp. You'll come in. And you basically use the exact same method, but just kind of slowly work it back and forth and hold it against the two straight edges and just work your way down. And that's it. It's very simple. Uh, does not take much time, but sure makes your build a lot easier. Again, that method is probably the fastest doesn't seal the edge, but uh, on control surface especially, it's not necessary. Uh, but that's one good thing about using a hot wire to cut the actual kit out, is it does seal the edge and make your foam a little stiffer. Um, the last method I'm going to show you is actually a product that someone sells. Um, it's called the Easy Bevel 45. Uh, it's basically just a little balsa or plywood thing you put together. It's got a razor blade in it. Very easy to assemble. And basically all you do is very simple. Um, just run your foam down it. Just kind of line your foam up and get it flat and just pull it through. And it really doesn't get much easier than this. Again, it's not a hot blade, so it's not going to seal your edges, but makes a perfectly clean cut. It's nice and sharp. And I'll actually show you that one one more time uh, because on the ailerons it is so easy to do. And so we'll do it one more time. 
And now, it doesn't matter what two surfaces you put together, you can kind of get an idea of your uh, cut. You can see how they're, they're, you can get more than enough throw. That's probably close to 90 degrees of throw. Don't ever really need that much, but hey, it's fun to have anyway. Um, like I said, with the hot knife or hot wire, you get sealed edges. With the razor blade, you don't, but either method works fine. So this is using the hot wire, and you can see it's just a little, uh, almost makes it shiny, but seals the edges, works nice.